Well, this was definitely a fun little show. So Tales of the Jedi was six episodes, all shorts. I think the, the longest episode was 18 or 19 minutes long, um, with, the, with the shortest being, I think, probably 15, 16, something like that. But they're shorts, and I really want more shows to do this. Because it's a format that works, or, or at the very least, when it's done right, it's a format that works. And I feel Star Wars did it right here. They gave us stories that we have not seen, or at the very least, have not seen on screen. At least not that I can recall. These are things that could have been explored in one of the many, many, many comic series, but I don't believe any of these were actually explored on screen, whether they be in a movie or a show. And what we got to see were things like the birth of Ahsoka Tano. We got to see a young Dooku and an even younger Qui-Gon Jinn as he was uh, Dooku's, Dooku's Padawan. But that's not it in terms of Dooku. We actually see, like we know he betrays the Jedi and he joins the Sith. We know that, but we don't exactly know what happened. At least I don't, at least not that I can recall, but we see kind of what happens, like his reluctance with the Jedi, with the Senate. And I thought it was very well done. And with Qui-Gon Jinn, who is once again voiced by the great Liam Neeson, which is even more awesome. What was kind of great about that is we kind of see the aftermath of his death. Now, we know he dies because he dies in the Star Wars prequels, the movies. But we don't really entirely see the aftermath of it. Well, the immediate aftermath. This is like the immediate, immediate aftermath. And that's when Dooku's betrayal is revealed. But we're also shown things like how Mace Windu got his seat on the Jedi Council. We got to see more of Anakin and Ahsoka, including the origin of Ahsoka using two lightsabers. But what I think is, you know, other than Baby Ahsoka, because Baby Ahsoka was fucking adorable. But what I think is the most exciting part about Tales of the Jedi was the final episode. Because it takes place immediately after episode three in that it's Padme's funeral, Ahsoka shows up, and then, you know, it goes to wherever she went to, and I, 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 won't, I won't spoil it, but I feel like this episode, the final episode, is what exactly is going to lead into the Ahsoka show starring Rosario Dawson. At the end of the day, Tales of the Jedi, it's very well acted in terms, you know, in voice acting. The animation is great. It's the same style as uh, the Clone Wars, which when I first started watching the Clone Wars, I hated it because it was blocky and it was like, it was kind of slow and the movements were awkward, but eventually the animation style improved and I really got to enjoy it. So I loved the animation style in Tales of the Jedi. I thought the writing was very good, especially in terms of it only being shorts. They showed us quite a bit in a small amount of time. They told us quite a bit in a small amount of time, and they did that very well. We got to see the origins of some characters. We got to see, you know, younger versions of other characters, what led up to some of the moments from the movies, the immediate aftermath of moments from the movies, and I just thought it was just done great. I sincerely hope we get a season two because there is so much that they can explore because there's so many things that happen in the Star Wars universe and the corners of the Star Wars universe that we don't know what's going on. We don't know the immediate aftermath of events. We don't know the immediate lead up to some events and it would be great to just get more backstory to some uh, to some people, to some events, and just in shorts, it's the perfect way to do it. I give Tales of the Jedi, Season 1, I give it an A. Did you enjoy the review? Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to get notified when more reviews go live. Feel free to leave a comment to discuss your thoughts on the movie or show, and I will see you next time.